Three, two, one.
control! I feel bad. I didn't know he's been through so much. Hmm. Alright, I have an idea. I noticed that when you two become heated up, you become stronger, right? And because I'm worried that you will have to start over if this guy literally explodes, how about you fight him with something that will cool him down instead? No need to thank me. Dare you! You will both die where you stand! Three, two, one, go! It's 
someone's house? <laughs> Damn, you're kind of cool. Not gonna lie. You too. Maybe your friends wouldn't be as bad if they weren't so infuriating. Speaking of them, where are they? Oh, right. They probably got taken by some dude named Upside before I got teleported here. Huh? It's calm. Knowing them too, they'll end up destroying his facility anyway. What? Nah, hold on. Let me get my guns. I'm not missing out on this one. You know him? Yeah, Sunday hates him for some reason. I don't know why. To me, it sounds like the best opportunity to settle things then. Whoa, whoa. You aren't going anywhere, big guy. And neither are you. It's way too dangerous. Well, that's gonna be a problem then. This means a lot to me, but if you don't want to come, that's fine. Three, two, one.
The test has been completed. Your physical attributes appear to have no anomalies. You seem to be a normal 19 year old kid, apart from your naturally sapphire blue hair. You're also well known for causing a bit of havoc around the city with your demonic girlfriend and your mysterious ability to. <laughs> Alright, the bottom line is that I'm not allowing you to leave this facility because a hostile corruption entity has been found within you. It is apparent that it was cursed upon you by a monster only a few weeks ago. However, I propose an offer. Either work for this facility and help me neutralize threats such as Whitmore, or be terminated on the spot. Hey girl! Hey! Uh, how did you get in here without raising the alarms? Teleportation. Don't know how you didn't see that coming. Now shut up and stick them up! Guards will be here any moment, so defend the door for me. I need to have a word with Updike. Oh, um... Just one moment. Hey! Oh, really? Let's find a room somewhere far from here. I got a plan. Hey, glad to see you're still alive, big man. Wait, what happened? Where's Updike? Your annoying friend teleported them away. <sighs> Alright, clearly we aren't going to get anywhere with this anytime soon.
So just drop a bomb here with a timer on it. So if we can't catch him in time, we'll just destroy the facility and dip. I can see that they're like, uh, two floors right above us. So once you reach them, I'll teleport girlfriend and boyfriend away so you can confront Updike. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. You seem pretty good at this for some reason. You have a lot of free time. <laughs> nah. It's because my roommate talks about this type of stuff all the time. Huh. I wish I had a roommate to talk to, but I don't even have a house or anything anymore except one friend who's a robot. Well, you can not Hmm? Ah, uh, never mind. We'll talk later. Cool. See ya. We're defending this bomb till the time runs out. And that's kind of how teleportation works, I guess. Maybe you could think of a defense plan against it next time. Hmm. Fascinating. Each of them can scan the building and locate where every intruder is. Anyway, pardon me for going off topic. Why am I here? You almost got blown up by a humanoid bomb, remember? I was just getting my arsenal. You know, I simply didn't expect him to show up, so all I had was my handgun. And you really think that any other weapon will stop him? Look, we know it's tough for you. Boyfriend saw your hidden emotions when he echoed your power. I don't think the bomb guy deserves this either. Please, you don't have to do this. <laughs> Stay back. I'm armed. Why should I care? And why do you see me as a threat? I haven't done anything! You almost blew up an entire city. Because of all the stress from people like you! You wanna know what real stress is like? Having to organize the facility alone just to figure out ways to prevent things like you from causing harm to an entire population. Hold up. You don't like this job? Of course I don't. I don't actually want to hurt anyone. I can't stand the thought of you hurting dozens more. I'm the only hope of the city, yet I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Neither do I! I was created to be a doomsday device for the rest of my life. Yet, I haven't harmed a single soul till today. But, I learned my lesson. And this time, despite all of my grudges I have against you, I'm willing to give you a chance.
You saved me. It's the least I could do after I blew up your facility. No, I mean, for years I've tried to kill you, yet not once did you attempt to do the same to me. I never thought it was worth it. I would end up being the person I was made to be, but not the person I wanted to be. With more, I am truly sorry. I will shut down the organization and leave you be. This job was clearly not cut out for me. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted to hear. And call me Witty. I sort of prefer that name. Don't worry about the dangerous creatures that could be lurking around here. My boyfriend and I will deal with them from now on. You should all evacuate the area quickly. It's still not safe here and the police will arrive soon anyway. Alright. Good luck to you. This was a productive day. I'm heading back to the couch. Hey, Woody. Wanna get some lunch? I can finish what I was about to say earlier. Sure, why not? Wow, what a day. Really? After all we've been through today, you want to go to the park? Nah, screw it. Let's go! Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said in the last update video, I won't be doing any more multi-episode series animations with plots and stuff because it occupies too much of my studies. For now, I'll boil it down to just fight scenes and exciting parts. 